buongiorno. Come va? That's Italian for hi, how y'all doing? Leonardo da Vinci was the supreme figure of the Renaissance. Renaissance means rebirth. And today we're going to focus on a rebirth of your own creative power and potential, both personally and for your organization. Business today requires a new kind of resume. We've got to be critical thinkers and creative thinkers, just like Leonardo. So, what are the seven principles for thinking like Leonardo? The first is curiosità. Curiosità. Everybody say it with your best Italian accent and a nice big gesture. Everybody. Curiosità. And it means an insatiably curious approach to life and an unrelenting quest for continuous learning. The second principle for thinking like Leonardo is dimostrazione. Everybody say it again, your best Italian. Dimostrazione. And it means a commitment to test knowledge through experience, persistence, and a willingness to learn from mistakes. The third principle for thinking like Leonardo is sensazione. Everybody say it. Sensazione. Now I have a sense that those gestures are fading a little bit. I want to have bigger gestures. Here we go. Sensazione. Molto bene. What does it mean? A continual refinement of the senses, especially sight, as the means to enliven experience. The fourth principle for thinking like Leonardo is sfumato. Sfumato. We say this one quietly, almost in a whisper. Everybody say it with a nice little gesture. Sfumato. Say it a couple of times. Let it roll around your tongue. Sfumato. Sfumato. It means a willingness to embrace ambiguity, paradox, and uncertainty. The fifth principle for thinking like Leonardo is arte scienza. Arte scienza. And of course, arte means art, and scienza means science. Let's say it all together in Italian with nice big gestures. Arte, arte scienza. scienza. One more time. Arte scienza. Fantastico. And it means the development of balance between science and art, logic and imagination. It's what we now call whole brain thinking. The sixth principle for thinking like Leonardo is corporalità. Everybody say it. Corporalità. And it means the cultivation of grace, ambidexterity, fitness, and poise. The seventh principle for thinking like Leonardo is connessione. And we have a special gesture for this one. Bring your hands together and say connessione. Connessione. What does it mean? Connections. A recognition and appreciation for the interconnectedness of all things and phenomena. What we now call systems thinking. I first learned to juggle more than 25 years ago. I saw somebody do it and I thought it was incredibly beautiful. It looked to me like moving sculpture. Well, I went up to this great juggler and I asked him to teach me. But it turns out that he was not as good a teacher as he was a juggler. Do you know what he told me? He said, take these three balls, throw them up, don't let any of them drop. Did you ever get an instruction like that in the course of your career? Well, at the time, I just really wanted to learn, so I tried to do just what he said. I threw the balls, and, but they all dropped, and I was making mistakes. And <sighs> but I remember what my high school wrestling coach told me. He said, Gilb, you're not trying hard enough. I want to see you give out 150%, so I tried even harder, and it got even worse. Balls falling everywhere. But that's when I started to think about some of the things that we've been discussing today. I realized that if I could keep my mind open curiosita, be more childlike and playful about the whole process. It would probably be easier to learn juggling and well, really anything else. Dimostrazione. I realized that I had to figure it out for myself. I had to think for myself and that a big part of learning how to juggle was going to be learning how to deal with mistakes. <laughs> Sensazione. I realized that if I could 
enjoy the feeling of it if I could take pleasure in the colors and the movement, even the sound, then I wouldn't be so worried if something dropped, I could just keep on going. Sfumato, I knew, or began to discover, that learning anything involved a journey into the unknown. Arte scienza. Well, the art seemed to be obvious, but what about the science? Well, I said, could I break this task down and make it simpler? You can try this with me. You can watch this ball. Keep your eye on this one here. Ah, yes, what's it doing? All it's doing is going back and forth like this. So I simplified the process. I started working with one ball. Then I went to two, and then three. Made it so much simpler. Corporalita. Well, I had to bring the two sides of my body together. One of the first things you notice when you start to learn how to juggle is your non-dominant hand seems to have a mind of its own. It shoots the ball out like that. That's why you see people, new jugglers, they start juggling like this. They're running after the balls. We call it joggling. So one of my challenges was to get the two sides of the body together. And juggling is a marvelous way to help meet that challenge. And then the seventh principle, connezione. Everything connects to everything else. And that's when I had an experience that you can have right now. You see, when people ask me how I learned to juggle, if I don't tell them the story I told you before, I tell them the one I'm about to tell you now. I tell them I was walking down the street one day and I saw these balls going around in this pattern. And I stood behind them and I've been there ever since. What's this pattern? It's the infinity pattern, and it represents the infinite potential inside every one of us. The art historian Bernard Berenson said of Leonardo that everything he touched turned to eternal beauty. My wish for you is that you use these seven principles to bring the touch of Leonardo's genius to your life every day.